Assalamu alaikum viewers today i am gonna discuss the very important topic which is microbial interaction so watch the video complete and don't for forget to subscribe my channel here is outline of my presentation first i will discuss introduction what is microbial interaction and then i will discuss the types of my uh, microbial interaction it may be a positive interactions neutralizer and negative interactions and it may be a nutrient cyclic interactions so i will discuss first point what is microbial interactions you know there is a scarce number of microorganism present in atmosphere in soil in air in water so there is a interaction for the nutrients uh, for the accommodation for the protection so this interaction which are going on we can termed as microbial interactions the first interaction is neutralism in neutralism there is a no impact or no effect on each other you can observe this in natural communities of microorganism where the culture density is low and the density le nutrient level is high so when there is a nutrient level is high there is a no competition or predation or parasitism uh, for the nutrients so they uh, these organism live neutrally and the next one association is my positive interaction sometimes they get benefit for uh, by the interactions which we call positive interaction for example in case of lactobacillus which is present in our gut you know it provides healthy impact on our health so this is example of positive interaction it includes mutualism cooperation commensalism and the next one association is negative interactions Uh, in this case, the organisms get homes from each other. For example, in case of pathogenesis of various diseases which we come across, we see that we get negative impact. We get disease. This is the example of negative interaction. It includes predation, parasitism, mensalism, and competition. The first point of uh, positive interaction is mutualism. in mutualism uh, here name is indicating mutual both organism will get benefit and this is obligatory association both will remain as a unit both organism will get benefit for example the association of lichen in lichens the phycobion which is alga and the mycobion which is fungi remain closely each other and there is a lot of benefit for each other the phycobiont which is photoautotrophs depend on light carbon dioxide and certain nutrients uh, which the fungus can get and uh, for their growth in turn fungus protects the phycobiont from excess light intense intensities provides water and minerals to it and provide substrates for the growth and uh, prevent from the environmental stress the next one is cooperation in cooperation association there is a positive but not obligatory symbiosis as like the mutualism we can separate one organism from the other and they live easily for example quorum sensing and biofilms in quorum sensing uh, this association is among the bacteria bacteria produce chemicals uh, which allow cell to cell communication and in biofilms formation the first colonizer bacteria uh, produce slimes which provide opportunity for other microorganism microorganism uh, for the attachment and interacting with other microbes you here you can see in diagram The next one is commensalism. In commensalism, one organism get benefit and the other neither harm nor help. Commensal is those organism or that organism that gets benefits. 
in commensalistic associations uh, occur, when occur when uh, at example of commensalism include the intestinal microorganism we know uh, in our intestine uh, in specifically in human clone there is a e coli bacteria present which used uh, the oxygen when it use oxygen it provide the opportunity for the other anaerobes other obligate anaerobes such as bacteroids uh, for the growth and the next one microbial succession during spoilage of milk uh, during spoilage of milk uh, the fermenting bacteria also promote the growth of acid torrent species as you know there is a acid formation uh, when uh, our milk is going to spoilage the next one is formation of biofilms when there is a formation of biofilms the first colonizer bacteria helps other microorganism to attach by the formation of slime the next one is negative interactions negative interactions first include predation in predation when one organism the predator engulfs and digest another organism the prey uh, in this association the prey can be large or smaller and uh, examples include the b delo vibrio b delo vibrio is a bacteria which predate other microorganism here you can see in diagram this bacteria is extending its uh, cell wall and trap this microorganism after trapping this microorganism it creates hole and make association with the periplasmic space of this prey and the adeptobacter in adeptobacter uh, penetrates the cytoplasm and create its prey cytoplasm here you can see in diagram the next one is parasitism in parasitism one species is dependent on a uh, another for nutrition and growth as a result it provides harm to this host it is closely related to the predation uh, for example the association of viruses and bacteria you can recall the example of bacteriophage in which bacteriophage attack on the bacteria and kill them the next one is immensalism in immensalism is a uh, there is a uh, is this uh, in this association the product of one organism has negative effect on the other organism example in crude we know uh, some bacteria produce antibiotics which inhibit or kill other susceptible microorganism uh, the other one example is bacteriocins bacteriocins are antimicrobial toxicity containing compounds which target other species and kill them next one is competition as i have discussed earlier there is a scarce number of microorganism present so this microorganism interact uh, and compete for the nutrients for the availability of uh, minerals such as nitrogen source carbon source electron donors electron acceptor vitamins and water competition occur where is a uh, multiple species of microorganism coexist the last one association is nutrient cycling interactions in this interactions we know uh, there is a biogeochemical bio cycling occur in our atmosphere uh, which is responsible for the cycling of nutrients such as carbon sulfur nitrogen phosphorus iron and manganese there is a lot of benefit from this interaction as nutrients become recycled and ecosystem become stable otherwise the integrity and ecological sustenance of microorganism community would not be possible so these interactions are very beneficial viewers this topic concluded hope you understood the topic uh, if you have any question you people can ask in comment box and so please like and subscribe my channel thank you khuda hafiz